there, it's me, Lottie. And today, what we're gonna do is do a tiny little haul. Now, I had made up my mind that 2020 was gonna be a more frugal year. I won't say a no spend year, but definitely a frugal year. Um, but of course, well, I think it's okay because I got some really good deals that I just wanted to share with you. I tend, I hopped into Meyer to pick up some other stuff and I was walking down the aisle and ha, lo and behold, there was the camping section and there was a clearance rack and I found a few things. So I think this will be a good little haul and it may inspire you to head on over to Meyer or any other store and see what might be on sale after the holiday season. So let's see, the first thing I got right off the bat was this here, Coleman 100 Max Insect Repellent. Now this is DEET spray, and I don't usually mess with DEET. I make a very nice natural herbal oil blend that works really well, but not for ticks. And if you're going to be in the deep woods or in the forests or camping in a more um, rustic terrain, you may want to protect yourself with a DEET option. Again, I don't use it all the time, but I definitely want to have it on hand, especially to prevent ticks. I don't like to mess with DEET, but I would much rather not mess with Lyme disease. So this was 75% off. So this was $3, meaning the original price was $12. All right. The next thing I found, and this is a shout out to you know who you are, Mr. Waterproof Matchman. <laughs> so I found this. I thought this was a cute little thing. I mean, it could be like a stocking stuffer, maybe a stocking stuffer for only somebody like myself or a gift, a thoughtful little camping thing. This is a waterproof match holder and it came with 25 waterproof matches. So as you can see, it's a nice little case and this was 75% off. It was 75 cents, meaning the regular price was $3 and it has a match striker built into it um so yeah i just thought it would be a nice little thing to have i actually picked up a few of these so if you get one act surprised this i picked up i just thought this was something practical to have and probably could be used for more than its intended use seat um, seat belt straps. No, sleeping bag straps. I'm sure it could be used for other things as well. Um, so those also were 75 cents. This was the only pack they had. So I grabbed those. You never know when you might need to bundle something up. Okay. This is also something that will be a little shout out to another one of my prepping and survivalist friends and you know who you are mr trauma ems taking care of somebody person <laughs> you know who you are this trauma pack i found so it is says it's for severe bleeding it includes It has in here something called Quick Clot, a trauma pad, a pair of gloves, duct tape, a triangular bandage, some gauze dressing, and antiseptic wipes, and a resealable bag for bio waste and sucking chest wounds. Hmm. Okay, it has instructions for ABCs of first aid, that sucking chest wound again, shoulder and upper, upper arm fracture, head injuries, and more. So um, this was 
$5. 75% off, that was regularly $20. So I thought this would be a good addition to my first aid supplies. The next thing I found <laughs> was a sleeping bag. This is a Coleman. Um, it is only good down to about 50, 55 degrees, um, which we know how to make it warmer for lower temperatures, but that'll be good for a summer sleeping bag, like a backup. If you have someone who wants to camp and um, they, didn't, they don't have a bag or they're not prepared, um, it's a good backup, you know, for when my grandkids come. Um, I have a few that I was gifted. Thank you, you know who you are. <laughs> Thank you so much, but uh, I got this as an extra one also. And I thought it was nice. It's a nice, uh, pretty blue color. You know, just your basic sleeping bag. And it was 75% off, I'm gonna stop saying that. It was $12.50. So I thought that was a good buy. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of waiting until, you know how, I mean, I know how I do. It's the weekend of the camping trip. I got an extra person with me. Somebody's like, oh, I wanna go. And then I'm like, oh, do you have any gear? And they're like, what, what is gear? So anyway, I decided to go on and get it. And I think the last thing I got are the cutest things that I've ever seen. Like these are, oh no, 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 no. I forgot one thing. <laughs> I forgot one thing. This is cute too. Who doesn't love, who doesn't love a good bag? So this is a cute bag that says adventure awaits. And you know, did I need another bag? Probably not. Maybe I will donate one of my other ones. It's good to have a nice reusable bag though. Nice size. I think this is a nice size bag. <laughs> so yeah, this is a nice, it's cute. Adventure awaits. Nice backpacking bag. Have to uh, soul vival it up or add me a little Earthseed Detroit jizz to maybe the other side. Maybe a patch. Maybe draw a logo on there. Who knows? Anyway, this actually says it was $3.75, but it rang up at 50% off of that. So I got it for what? A dollar 40, something like that. It was a dollar 40. And like I said, it's a big bag. And the last thing I got were the cutest little things ever. Like I said before, I just thought these were so cute. And they were only, um, let's see here. Oh yeah, here they are. I took them out, so these were $2.50. Little camp chairs with the brown bear on there. The other one has a little foxes on there. Some of them were plain. I ended up, I think I picked up eight of them, seven. I got a cartload of kids. I'm trying to have, you know, people fighting over chairs. Mm -mm. So anyway, I got a bunch of kitty camp chairs and you should have seen <laughs> there were women that were looking at my cart longingly like where did you get those one woman came over to me she pointed and was like are there any more of those and i was like i think there are three left i think i left three or four over there but i did have to cover all of my bases so anyway it'll be nice to have these around for Backyard use, for camping use, for the playroom, just when you have the kids over, whatever. So that about does it for my little haul, my camping haul that has got me excited for 2020 camping already. I ain't buying nothing else. I'm not buying anything else. If you see me do another haul, don't say nothing, okay? Shh. <laughs> 
I don't think I will. I'm going to be good. I'm, I mean, not that this is bad. It, at any rate, let me, let me close this out. I hope you're having an excellent beginning to your new year and having a good day or night whenever you're watching this. And as always, take care until I see you at the next video. All right. Peace.